I am very excited and delighted to introduce a dear friend and colleague, someone who I've been working closely with for the last couple of years. Uh, he uh, trained as an engineer and then uh, discovered that he wasn't being true to himself and so has retrained as a coach and a trainer and a transformational, uh, a transformational change worker. Uh, doing this work. And uh, please put your hands together for Mr. Chris Jackson. Chris, thank you so much for being here with us. It's I know that uh, you're in Australia, so it's going to be like, uh, I don't know, about 11 o'clock at night at this point, is it? It's uh, it's not too bad, thanks, Jamie. I'm in uh, I'm in Western Australian time zone, but I think I'm in Bali, and it's oh, seven. Oh, you're in Bali, Bali, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm getting all yeah. I'm getting all confused. What time is it in Bali? It's only seven o'clock, so it's uh, it's it's super early. It's easy. It's still it's still a huge pleasure to have you with us, and I'm still I'm still delighted that you're that you're able to be here with us. At thank this you. Time. It's it's an honor to be here. Thank you for uh, it's it's a real honor to be here, Jamie. So thank you. I'm I'm looking forward to this. And, and the, the purpose of this conversation, what I wanted to do was uh, kind of get behind the scenes with uh, clarity coaches, people who are doing this work with their clients to find out kind of what distinctions you're seeing in this work, how, the, how this is making a difference to you. What, like, basically, I wanted to have a, a 20 or 30 minute chat like you and me are having a beer and everyone else here can eavesdrop on it. Like just, just getting kind of nuts and bolts about working with this understanding. Um, so do you want to take, take a minute or so just to tell people about your journey so far and uh, uh, what, what sparks your interest in this understanding and what has you, you know, you're, I know that you're one of the people who's all in with this, with your clients. So will you, will you say a little bit about that, Chris, and then we'll dive into the nuts and bolts. Yeah, I'd love to, Jamie. Well, uh, my background is engineering, as you said, and I spent nearly a decade working in that career that really did nothing for my soul. And uh, and eventually I stumbled across coaching and found that that was what I was here to do. As many coaches eventually discover, there's this beautiful field of transformation that I found myself in. Uh, I started out with NLP, hypnosis, you know, a lot of psychotherapies, went down that pathway and worked for probably about three or four years using all of that stuff uh, and found that I I was pretty good, but I found like I hit the wall in the sense of I could only take my clients so far. Um, and then one day I came across the principles um, with my now business partner and friend Kai, uh, who's also been through the Clarity System. Uh, he did a, you know, a similar sort of short intervention with me over you know 20 or 30 minutes and completely transformed probably one of the most significant challenges in my life like that. And so from that moment, I knew that what we we're working with was, was far more profound than anything that I'd ever learned in my NLP or hypnosis or anything like that. So I was like, wow, okay, this is next level stuff. I don't know what this is, but you know, what is this? Anyway, Kai then later revealed to me, yeah, it's the principles. And I said, right, I'm in. <laughs> so I, I followed the principles, you know, you know, you know, I, I got, I got your book. I, I read your book and I eventually followed you. And then, and then, yeah, went through all of your trainings and, and then here I am now. And I feel like I've kind of, not to say I've dumped all the NLP and, and hypno stuff, but it's like, it seems to be not relevant really anymore. Um, the principles is like my foundation. It's everything that I, I live and breathe that I wake up now, knowing that I am the principles every single morning. It's my first waking thought. And it's pervaded every single dimension of my life. Um, not just coaching, but every dimension, you know, my intimate relationship, my finances, my health, it's, it's something that's pervaded all of my experience and it's transformed every dimension of my life. So I had no idea that it could do that. And, uh, and I have so much gratitude for you, Jamie, because yeah, you've, you've taken what is very ambiguous and very mysterious and you've managed to, you've managed to turn it into a, uh, a turn it into a very a structure that I, I understand <laughs> the way that you teach it and the way that you've transmitted is very for an engineer for an engineering uh, background it's very it makes it makes a very very good sense to me so so yeah it's it's now a, it's now the foundation of how I work with all my clients um, and I'm now training other coaches in the principles as well so it's beautiful to be able to give this understanding away to others as well so I just want to say thank you 
Oh, thank you. You're so welcome. I so I'm so grateful that that we can do this because what you just said, you're you're now teaching other teaching the principles to others. That's what I want. Like you, you may have seen my my kind of my whole mission is to share this understanding and to help you share it with others because. God, the, the it's not like there's a shortage of people who need this in the world. And 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 Chris, like you, I had that same experience of like my life was transformed, and I didn't even know that this was on offer. Like it's it's not like I had on my on my wish list. I wish I could live in the truth of the being of knowing of who I really am. And I I didn't even know it was an option to have the kind of experience of life and relationships and health and all, all the things that come with this. So I, yeah, I'm I, like you, I'm a happy customer. Mm. So, uh, so what's, well, let, let me, let me ask you the question I always ask when I'm doing master classes, which is what's your, in a nutshell, what's your philosophy to coaching people from this understanding, whether you call it a philosophy or your approach, what, what, how would you describe it? Well, I would say I, I definitely have adopted a, I guess you'd say a similar uh, coaching philosophy as what you've trained us in, in clarity, uh, in the sense of, you know, the, the principle, like having a felt embodied experience of the principles, I'd say that's the first and foremost, most important place that I coach from. So, so now it feels like I, I'm not in my head trying to intellectualize the conversation. It's like, I feel very, very confident just using my intu and intuition. That might sound like a bit of a cop out, but um, it's now it feels like because I understand the principles so well, um, I'm not speaking from concept. I'm just speaking from what I know to be true. So, so those two universal truths, you know, who we really are and where experience comes from. I mean, absolutely, that's those are the those are the two ultimate truths. I mean, that's pretty much all you need, really. That's all, that's all I need, really. Um, so that's that's the, the the deepest place that I come from. Um, I think, and this might kind of sound a little bit woo-woo, but um, this, I, 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 I speak, you know, now that we've understanding this idea and this felt experience of speaking behind the mask, mm. knowing that my clients are the principles, knowing that I am the principles, knowing that my clients are pure consciousness, like that, that's a different level of conversation I'm now having with my clients. So I'm addressing them with a level of reverence and, and sovereignty and, and just knowing that they're, they're, they are pure. So, so just even just even that in of itself is uh, was worth everything that I've done. You know, it was worth the price of admission <laughs> to the training, so to speak. So, so that that's something that is really incredibly profound. So, again, it's um, yeah, I, I'd say it's really those deeper realizations. That's what I've come to realize um, means that the whole thing gets so simple. Yeah. Um, it's coaching from truth and once when once I and it's a felt truth it's not an intellectual truth it's a felt truth now that I've felt those things to be true uh, it just happens automatically and unconsciously now so yeah and I'm, I'm, I hope that's helpful for, for everyone watching here I hope it's not too, too well, I, want to dig, I want to dig into it actually because there, the the first thing that you said that that my ears pricked up was you said I'm not teaching from content uh, sorry, I'm not teaching from concepts. I'm teaching from, or, or I'm not speaking from concepts. I'm speaking from the, the felt experience. And, and that looks so important because the, the, how I kind of visualize it is that that feeling of connection is like a conduit from, from one soul to another. And, and so when you use the phrase speaking behind the mask, which is kind of speaking true self to true self. Well, when we're, we're speaking true self to true self, it's, it, it's, it's the feeling we're sharing with our, with our client. And then the words kind of float on that, how I see it anyways, the words kind of skitter along on top of the feeling. And you, to, to some extent, like like when I was talking with Simon in that coaching session earlier, I was speaking behind the mask at, at, at at least one point. And it's like, yeah, these words I'm saying, they're just kind of poetry trying to point to the principles, but it's the feeling we're in that's doing the heavy lifting. Does that resonate, Chris? Does that sp yeah. kind of speak yeah. to you? Yeah, yeah. I guess it's the the feeling is then the, it's like the transmission 
of what's happening. It's like, I mean, it's, it's not like there's anything actually being sent back. It's not like packets of information. It's you know, obviously when someone has an insight, that's 100% happening from within them. So it's not coming from me uh, or us. So that definitely resonates. And, and yeah, I, I now see the whole container of the coaching conversation, um, you know, like with the, you know, the, um, the, uh, Sorry, the, um, uh, your, your your model, your three three part model, connect. Uh, sorry, calibrate, connect, educate. I now see um, the whole conversation is just connection. It's not. It's not now one part. I've now got to get. It's like no, no. The whole experience is just one of soul to soul connection now. So it's kind of like great. Now that that's what I've grounded into now, and so that's one less part I have to remember. And everything else now is. Is just is just being present and calibrating and, and just sharing what I know. So it, there's a real simplification. At first, when I when I first learned your model, I was like, okay, great. I'm step one and step two, step three. Now it just happens so automatically and unconsciously. There's there's no thinking required. It's just been installed deeply. So that that's kind of how it feels now. I, I really like the way you said that because the when I created that model, it was to kind of uh, create a a kind of an explanation of something that I'm actually doing real time whole form so it's like it and it's kind of like the principles in a way the principles Sid used to say there's really just one principle it's it's mind it's the it's the oneness of life but but if you say there's really just one principle people are like could you say a little more about that it's like well <laughs> sort of like consciousness it's sort of like thought it's sort of like my and so it's like it's sort of like the can you say a little more about it? it's like well well you find you get their world you calibrate you get their world and you find your way into that feeling of connection the feeling of connection is really just the experience of mind you know when you're in that connection you're connected to life and to mind and to the other person and then and then you share what you're seeing they now you you mentioned the two truths and i keep coming back to those that there there there's who you really are which is consciousness itself as you said and there's how experience is created which is we're living in the experience of this principle of thought taking form in the moment and i said at the beginning of this session today that the i believe the two most valuable things a person can discover are who they really are and how experience is created. And I also believe that two, the two most valuable things a coach can discover for working with their clients, because as you said, it makes it so much simpler. Now, I would love you to say something about how has that simplified things for you? Because I totally like it. I think, I think the thing that makes it easier for me to have big impact when I'm coaching someone than it does for a lot of coaches is because I'm doing a lot less. I'm paying attention to a lot less. I'm, 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 so it's like, it, it, once you know where to look, it's a lot, it's a lot easier, but, it, but what's your experience of it being? Yeah. I, I think Jamie, knowing those two truths and you're right, knowing them to be true, not conceptually, but getting it to the point where it's a felt knowing once you get to the knowing, once once you've had enough insights to know that, the coaching conversation becomes so simple because um, the direction that we're sending clients, whether you want to call it sending them upstream or just pointing at truth, that's a far simpler game than trying to know the answer to their problem. <laughs> so <laughs> instead of like trying to be in problem solving mode, great, what's the insight they've got to get? And what's the, what have they got to realize? It's more just like, I'm just going to head them, send them in that direction and they're going to get something. I don't know what they're going to get, but I, I know that they're going to they're going to get something that's going to be helpful. So, so yeah, that there's a simplification that happens from just knowing the correct orientation to be pointing a client to. Like that, I mean, that I I would say that's probably the most important thing, um, which just takes as a coach, it's taken so much off my mind. Um, mm -hmm. It's this is like the, the the simpler the coaching gets. Um, I've noticed the more powerful I feel and the, the more results I'm able to help my clients get because I've got less going on in my mind because the the conversation is just very, very simple. It's just they, they, they've got a simple misunderstanding and that's the direction we need to head. So I, I would put it down to a, a real simplification, which just allows my own intuition and my own style. I guess that's what I've also noticed, Jamie, is with, within those truths and within this understanding, there's a lot of wriggle room for 
us bringing our personality to the forefront. And that, yeah. that's what I really loved as well is, you know, there is no right way of using the principles. There isn't just one way. And, and, and I've, I've loved your training because I've gotten your take on that. And I've obviously been able to take that and put my spin on it as well, which I really loved. So yeah, I'd say simplification and we're able to customize that and really put our own authenticity into it as well. I, I love that because we've got our, you know, our, our personalities for a reason, you know, they're how we engage with the world and it's why, you know, one person likes me, another person doesn't. It's like, it, it, that's the personality, but at the level of truth, who we really are is the same for everyone. What, who, what we've really got going for us is the same for everyone and how it works is the same for everyone. I, there was something else you said in there, I think is really important. Um, I don't remember what it was. It was it, it was uh, it was it was around the whole simplicity piece. Uh, two truths. Now I don't recall. <clears throat> Tell me this, Chris. What are some of the what are some of the transformations that you're seeing in the lives of your clients since coaching from this understanding? Um, oh, there's so many. <laughs> um, well, to give one uh, success story, you know, we had. Uh, a client who came through one of our trainings uh, as a group training. Um, and we had a client who came through with bipolar, like who was diagnosed with bipolar. Um, I'm not going to go into the, <laughs> the medical, uh, the medical industry's labeling uh, system, but you know, he came in with a, with a, with a label of bipolar and, you know, suffering a lot of distress and a lot of, you know, I guess you might call it un, unorganized or, you know, maybe a lot of suffering in his experience. And mm -hmm. at the end of a, at the end of a 12 week training, uh, he'd actually let go of that label and actually had got completely off his medication just from showing up to our trainings, um, just listening, you know, being part of the exercises. So, you know, that's profound, you know, for someone to be able to get off med medication from something that, you know, a label and, and, and let go of that, you know, that's, that's incredible. Um, and it's, it was almost like, is that, is this, is this stuff even real? Is that even happening? And, and that's, I mean, that's just one example. I mean, everyone, everyone that's come through our, our trainings and every, all of my clients now, they get touched so deeply in ways that I, I can't even predict. Um, so there just generally sends to, seems to be a, an over, as you say, you know, all boats rise with the tide. You know, when, when an insight drops, that gets translated into so many different parts of you know improving someone's life that it's difficult to quantify it's so difficult but um but yeah there's you know there's clients that have been able to let go lifetimes worth of suffering uh, in an instant you know and in fact i've um i've had people watch my uh, my online videos just sharing the principles and have transformational insights uh, and, and let me know that you know their lives have transformed as well so that's that's also another beautiful experience to know that it doesn't have to be live you, you can do a transmission you record a video and then someone gets something beautiful from it uh and then they send you a message you know weeks or months later so there is just so much there is just so much transformational power in this uh, it's ah uh, where, where do i begin I, I love it, Chris, and, it, and it's testament, in, in my opinion, it's testament to, to what people have going for them, that capacity for insight and realization that they, you know, they watch one of your videos or they read an article or they read a book or they, uh, they hear something and it wakes something up in them. Like they, the, it seems to me that I, I, I sometimes think of it as like the, that the true self within everyone is uh, is like a, a a bell, and I'm just trying to you know throw BBs at it or throw marbles at it to kind of ring that bell because once it starts ringing, the, or a tuning fork, and I just if I can resonate that tuning fork with mine, they'll they'll wake up. Uh, yeah, it's so cool, and and I love that you're seeing people with clinical diagnoses being able to. Like I, I, I always, if I'm working with someone who's on, uh, who's being prescribed medication under the care of a psychiatrist or whatever, I'll often say to them, Chris, I, I don't know if you guys say this as well. I'll often say to them, look, you may find that as you start to learn this, what was the right amount of medication a week ago 
is is now too much and you may want to talk to your gp about that and because and and i've yeah even recently had clients who are who are having to reduce their medication because as they see this understanding more deeply they've just got less on their mind and less need for medication did you find that as well absolutely uh oh jamie and there's one other thing i wanted to say as well jamie i've been working with one lady who's a psychosomatic therapist and she works with patients that have uh, diabetes, uh, cancer. So she's, she's now, now that I'm sharing with her the principles, she's able to integrate the principles understanding with her medical uh, understanding of treating patients. And she's been helping people cure type 2 diabetes. She's working with a guy who's nearly got rid of his cancer. So this is now, this is also now this incredible, this incredible tool. It's more than a tool. It's a, it's a, it's an enlightenment model that can now be utilized with so many different un- un- understandings. So, so that's been incredible to be able to be part of, you know, my client's journey to, to complement them in, in that way. So I see it, I see it so often now. It's just, at first I thought, is this a fluke? But now I've seen it too often. I know it's not a fluke. It's, it's just become standard after a while. <laughs> I love it, Chris. I love it. And, and all of this for what purpose? You know, I, you, I, I read a post you wrote the other day about, kind of what had brought you to to this work was that you'd been doing something where you weren't feeling true to yourself and and my assumption is you're feeling more and more true to yourself and what you want to be doing all of this for what purpose yeah i it's i I would say it's it's almost like this whole understanding has allowed me to go it might sound strange, but go beyond purpose. Mm-hmm. It's it's knowing that there doesn't even necessarily need to be a purpose. Um, but when we touch or when I touch that essence of what I truly am, I can pick up any purpose. I can express any purpose. I can put on a purpose like a costume. So it's like I even unhook myself from the idea of purpose because I'm now I'm before the formation of a purpose. So it feels like a far more pure place Whereas before I used to have this intellectual purpose, you know, like yeah, yeah. You know, forcing myself to find the purpose. Whereas now it feels like I am before, uh, I'm, I'm before the creation of any purpose could ever exist. So it's like I've, I'm, I'm at a far more pure place in my life. Um, and I can now choose to deliberately take on purposes using the principle of thought and play with them like a game. So, so for me, I don't know that there necessarily is a purpose, but um, it just feels like it's touching the deepest essence of what I am, and it feels beautiful. I love that. I love the way you've described that. You've you've just reminded me of something. I was on a course. This is years before I came across, across the principles. It was like a public speaking course, and and as an icebreaker, the course leader said, "Oh, get into pairs and ask ask each other what's your purpose in life." And and so we're all doing this. And I had one of those intellectual ones. I kind of trotted it out, but it didn't feel right. And I I said, that's my purpose, but but it doesn't feel right. And I got to be true to myself. And I tried it again. And I said the same thing. I finally went up to the course leader. I said, I've I've been saying my purpose, but each time I say it, it doesn't feel right. And I've got to be true to myself. And I suddenly heard what I'd said every time was, I've got to be true to myself. And I suddenly realized, oh, that's my purpose right now, being true to myself. And and I love the way you put it, that when we're at home to who we really are, whatever the relevant pointers or purposes we we need will find us, we can try them on, we can play with them. I love I love the your description of it as being uh, an even more pure place. That's wonderful. Anything else you'd like to add before I get everyone to give you a huge round of applause, Chris? Oh, and Jamie is just really, I just want to acknowledge you for, for all the work that you've put in to, you know, how you train, how you train your coaches and um, the impact on my life has been profound, like beyond what I could ever have dreamed. You know, when I, when we, when I first joined up uh, in, in the system, I had no idea what was on offer and, um, and it's been this gift that just as cliche as it is, it's this gift that keeps on giving. Um, it's a gift that I can now give away. And it's now become, you know, my, yeah, it's my 
personal purpose, if you like, you know, to share this understanding with the world and, and give this away to other people. And uh, is, there's no better feeling than helping people realize the, the deepest truths that exist in this life that also happens to just make people's lives better and, and more beautiful. So, so I just want to say thank you. Um, yeah, what you do is really, really powerful and really special. And uh, I will forever be grateful for you for, uh, for, for taking me this far into the understanding. So thank you. Oh, thank you, Chris. That really touches me. Everyone, will you unmute yourselves and give Chris a big hoot and a holler and thank you. Thank you so much, Chris.